Greetings, Earthlings. Welcome back to another edition of Favorite Things. My name is Bandrew, and I run the Bandrew Says podcast on the Geeks Rising podcast network. You can find more about it at geeksrising.com. But with that being said, I wanted to share some of my favorite things of November 2020. First one being the Fisher Space Pen AG7. I have spoken about and raved about the Fisher Space Pen Bullet before, but that wasn't the actual space pen that went into space. The AG7 is the model that went into space. It is simple, it is elegant, it is built insanely well, and I believe it is still made in the USA. Really easy to find replacements for it. And if you like to fidget, just amazing. It has the end address depression button. <laughs> I don't think that's what it's called, but you depress it. The side, you have this little release button. Click that, and it withdraws the tip of the pen, and it does have a little bit of grip at the end of it. All around, a really great pen. I've been using this for work on a daily basis, and I don't think I'll go back to any other pens anytime soon. Next up is a box set for a TV show that I just finished a rewatch of, and it is Community Seasons 1-6, to six, all 110 episodes. This is the Mill Creek release, and unfortunately it has these paper sleeves where they store all of the DVDs. They're unmarked, they're unlabeled sleeves, and they tear fairly easily just getting the DVDs out of them. So as far as the packaging, it's not the best, but it is an affordable box set. But if I ignore the packaging, because if you have Amazon, I believe this is also available streaming on there. It is just one of the greatest sitcoms ever made, right up there with Spaced for me. Spaced is another one, which maybe I'll feature at another date, but this month it is Community. And the thing that's amazing about it is, yes, it's silly, yes, it has goofy moments, but it has sincere and heartfelt moments that will tug at your heartstrings. It will make you shed a tear. And they do it so well, except for season four. <laughs> but six seasons, I'm still waiting for a movie. If you haven't seen Community and you have Amazon or you want to pick up the box set, 100% recommend it. One of the greatest of all time. Greatest? Greatest. Greatest of all time. Words are hard today. Next up, I have a couple of Timex watches, which I've really been enjoying recently. The first one I want to feature is a Thanksgiving-themed watch. This is their 40 millimeter Weekender, and they seem to put out a new model or a new design for every season. There's a Halloween, a 4th of July, now an Autumn or Thanksgiving. There are Christmas ones coming, and they aren't amazing watches. They aren't extremely expensive, but given that we've been locked inside for so long, I have a hard time remembering what season we're in. And having these watches that have a little bit of the season printed on them make it a little bit easier to get into the mood. Hey, it's autumn. Okay. Feel like it's autumn. <laughs> I don't know. Feel like it's Halloween. Get spooky. Feel like it's the 4th of July. Feel patriotic. Having that has been really nice over the last nine months. So I have really been enjoying these. And the best part about the Weekenders, Indiglo! Yay! Next up is my conspiratorial watch, the Q from Timex. <laughs> this is a quartz, not diver, but diver style. It has a 12-hour bezel, so you can set a second time zone. It has a day-date complication. It says Q right on the dial, so if you're into conspiracies like QAnon, or you really like James Bond, or you like quartz watches, it does all of that. It is a little bit lackluster in the water resistance at 50 meters, so you're not going to be diving with this, but for everyday wear, it's going to be fine. I really like the blue dials and the off-white indices. I love the orange on the bezel and the day-date complication, as I've mentioned a couple of other times, is amazing to have because time has lost all meaning. And I did replace the bracelet on this with a bracelet off the Casio A158. I did that because I saw another video on YouTube demonstrating that, that, that this bracelet worked on it, and the bracelet that comes with the Timex Q is terrible. I like this one a lot better. I think it fits it better, and I have really been enjoying wearing this and feeling like a conspiratorial lunatic, even though I know nothing about the whole Q conspiracy. <laughs> I don't know anything about it. So I will just say I like 
James Bond, and quartz watches. I don't have to worry as much about magnetism, so when I'm miking up a guitar cab, a quartz watch is perfectly fine. And last but not least is a guitar pedal because I like playing guitar and one of the best ways to inspire some new riffs, some riffage, is a new guitar pedal that does something differently. This is the Electro Harmonics Op Amp Big Muff Pi. This is a fuzz pedal. If you don't know what fuzz pedals do, I will demonstrate it shortly, but this thing is filthy. I don't know if this is the model that is emulating or copying the Smashing Pumpkins fuzz pedal. I don't think it is, but this pedal just sounds incredible. It gives you that filth, that fuzz that you need if you want some Smashing Pumpkins grunge, if you want to get grimy and just drop your guitar down to drop C or drop B or drop A and throw a fuzz on. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun and it's insane. Or I actually used it to record some slightly overdriven fuzzy guitars on a song that's coming out tomorrow on the Bander Plays channel, or actually came out yesterday on the Bander Plays channel. But there you go. I'll go ahead and demonstrate this now. Here is what my guitar sounds like, just clean without any distortion, without any pedals. Kind of boring, clean. You know what a clean electric guitar sounds like. And here is what the guitar sounds like with the fuzz pedal turned on. That's on the neck pickup. That's on the bridge pickup. So you can get quite a range of tones out of that just by switching the pickups, but. <laughs> I love how the amp breaks up with this pedal, or the pedal emulates the amp breaking up. You can hear the amp sound as though it's about to explode. The amp can't handle it. <laughs> and it gives you these Jimi Hendrix, Lenny Kravitz kind of vibes. The In between the notes, you can hear it Stop. The amp can't handle it anymore. Once you mute it, it's completely dead. It's so bizarre. I, it's a unique tone, and I absolutely love it. And I've been having a lot of fun playing with the pedal. So that's my last item for November 2020. There you go. Those were my favorite things from November 2020. I hope you enjoyed it, and I would love to hear from you. What are some of your favorite things from November 2020? If you're in the States, I hope you had an amazing Thanksgiving. I hope you stayed safe. I hope you were able to enjoy some turkey, some time with family, if you're able to do that, all of that stuff. If you're anywhere else in the world, I'm thankful for you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And if you want to hear any amazing podcasts, go check out geeksrising.com. There are some amazing shows there. I love you all. I will talk to you later.